Faith is a centerpiece of black culture. Throughout history, the church has often been a place of refuge for our communities. In South Carolina, slaves gathered at praise houses to worship on plantations. Services usually included call and response songs known as shouts. Clinton Chapel AME Zion Church in West Charlotte has been one of those safe spaces for more than 100 years. WVTV's Faith Alford found out how the church has been able to change with the times. born in this church. My parents were members of this church. My grandparents were, and my uh, great grandmother is over there on the wall. She was one of the founders. At 94 years young, Helen Kirk is proud her relatives helped establish Clinton Chapel AME Zion Church. It's one of the oldest black churches in Charlotte, established in 1810. Through the years, Kirk remembers how church members handled segregation. Many of us were shielded from a lot of the segregated part of it. If a family was going downtown or something, you could eat at a restaurant. They would put a sandwich and a drink in a thermos, and so you wouldn't be have to be faced with that problem. Back then, the church did its job, sharing hope through the gospel while providing a safe space beyond the church walls. Fast forward to now, the church has made changes to its name, leadership, and location. It's a place of worship and fellowship. Pastor Ralph Williamson says navigating all of that can be challenging, but the mission remains clear. We're talking now about it being a healing hub. Um, in the community, especially with this church that has been moved three times. And if you notice, the community is changing around us. And one of the things we want to do is to be a part of the change. Change through community outreach. These are, th are dry goods. An assignment that has come with trials. One of the key things we had to decide here because of gentrification was whether or not we wanted to stay in this area or leave. And as you can look and see now, they're building all around us. And one of the key factors uh, was that this is home. That's not all they've had to navigate. Since the pandemic, many churches have seen a decline in attendance. Get up! Clinton Chapel now provides Sunday services online and monthly luncheons. While things are different now, they share the same message. The doors of the church are always open. For the future is to create that unity, the conversation, build the church around community conversations. And that's a prayer Kirk and her family members want answered. It's taking some baby steps, but it's happening. Getting back to what does the church do for the community? Pastor Williamson says while the location has changed, the church has a vision for this community to one day be able to build affordable housing and add some shops. This is something that's only made possible through building strong relationships, and that's something that they're working on all of the time. In Charlotte, Faith Alford, WBTV, on your side. I just hear it ringing. Let the church say amen, right? Amen. Ah, they got their assignment. Yes. Well, we still have more to come. We are not done yet. That's right. Our Black History Month special continues next. Tracing the Black American experience. I'm going to get a better understanding of not only what I go through today, but what's come before me. Local students learning the lessons of the past to forge to a brighter future. And a musical selection from Johnson C. Smith University Concert Choir.